Welcome to this episode of the Revised Science With Me series. This video will coach you to make and use an interactive revision tool to recall the key features of a negative feedback loop. Negative feedback loops are required knowledge for the higher tier AQA Combined Science Trilogy course or the AQA GCSE Biology course. If you're not doing an exam by AQA, please double check with your exam board what you are expected to know. I will be your science revision coach to guide you through this revision session to enable you to get the retrieval practice you need to get the maximum marks in your science exams because we all want to do our best. For this session, you will need a quiet space to work for at least 20 minutes, an A3 sheet of paper, a pack of sticky notes, a decent pen or marker, a ruler to draw neat lines. This is optional or you could just draw around your sticky notepad. A source of information such as your science exercise book from school, a revision guide of the appropriate exam board and tier, textbook um, for your course, exam mark scheme from an appropriate exam question or any other relevant source. You can visit the products page on the sciencerevisioncoach.org website for all the equipment you may need in one place online. If you need to get the equipment that I've just mentioned, you can press the pause button now to go and collect it. Step one, draw the template of a negative feedback loop using your source of information. Include arrows and generic labels for each box. You can see what I've done in the picture on the screen. Pause now to complete. Second step, Write on individual sticky notes the steps in the negative feedback loops of blood glucose control and blood thyroxine control using different colour sticky notes for each negative feedback loop or different colour pens. Press the pause button now so you can complete this. Finally, close your source of information, remove all the sticky notes and shuffle them up. Try and replace the sticky notes back into the correct column. Press the pause button now so you can complete this. Well done, you've now made your interactive tool. This should not have taken you more than 20 minutes, but now that you've made it, you can use it repeatedly to help you remember some of the key stages in the control of blood glucose and the control of thyroxine. Making this is revision in and of itself. You are reviewing the source material and interacting with it as you read and copy the method of controlling blood glucose and thyroxine levels. Spend another 20 minute revision session trying to put the sticky notes back into the right order. Each time check your answers with the source material or you can write the answers in pencil on the reverse of the A3 sheet. Time how quickly you've been able to replace the sticky notes correctly and repeat this during the 20 minute revision session as many times as you can. The faster you get, the better your memory. You can use a stopwatch to support you with this. Reuse the interactive revision tool as many times as possible before your exam. You can watch my video on revision cycles in the metacognition playlist for more information about this. If you haven't already put together a revision timetable, you should get that done. I have a template that you can edit on the sciencerevisioncoach.org website. You should now remember the key stages in the control of blood glucose and blood thyroxine hormone. If you use the revision tool in the way I've described, remember to follow this up with past paper questions and questions of your own. You can find past paper questions online and I have included a link in the description that can help you with this. Good luck.